Hi folks, this is Paco Pascual and I would like to show you this time for those who don't know or for those who never tried before flat picking guitar, some basics and some tips about it. Also I will show you how to play this song Blackberry Blossom. Um, yeah, basically this technique is used for bluegrass players they are really amazing. Some guys like Doug Watson, Tony Rice, for example, they are my guitar heroes and really good acoustic players. And this technique is very good. It doesn't matter what kind of music you play, but you always need to, to do a good picking in your solos, you know. And this technique really will help you to have a better synchronization between both hands because sometimes your left hand is quicker and faster than your right hand, you know. So you really need to have both hands very well synchronized if you want to play a long solo with perfect tempo and a nice tone. So I think flat picking guitar really will help you in, in that way, you know. And I just picked up a, a very, very easy song, is this one called Blackberry Blossom and, uh, and it's a traditional bluegrass tune. Um, but let me show you some tips first of all. Uh, I suggest you to use always an acoustic guitar to practice flat picking, basically because it's harder, you know, you have thicker strings, the action is higher uh, and if you used to play with an acoustic guitar to practice, when you get the electric guitar, you will fly. Also, the acoustic guitar is lovely, you know, the sound of the acoustic guitar is really, really beautiful. And, and yeah, I always enjoy playing my acoustic guitar. Also, the picks, I suggest you for flat, flat, flat picking, a very quite heavy pick, like, like two millimeters, maybe three, even three. Um, and yeah, you don't have to play with your hand very in tension, you know, the faster you play, the more relaxed you have to have your hand because you can play really fast if you are in tension, you know. And yeah, let me show you some tips. For example, there is a very famous and common pattern in bluegrass music and flat picking guitar. Uh, and it's, it's all about going down, down, up, down, down, up with your pick, okay? So, we're gonna do something like that. Down, down, up. Okay? Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So if, for example, we have to play a G major scale, we will do something like that. As you can tell, the movement is really short. I'm gonna play it slowly for you. Down, down, up. I think that would be a very good exercise to start with. Also, apart from that, there, there are many techniques of, of your right hand technique, uh, pick, picking, and, but also for this song we're going to use all the time up and down, up and down, okay? Most of the time, some cross picking as well, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to break it down very slow for you, and I think it would be the perfect thing if you get a metronome and learn note by note, slowly, very, very slow. Uh, no rush, you don't have to play fast or you don't have to try to play fast at the first go. So just learn it slowly and you will see that it's a very easy tune to play. You don't even have to watch at the fretboard. Actually, if you don't look at the fretboard, it will be much better. You have to feel it, right? And you will play much better if you feel it rather than, than be watching every single note because there are many notes in a bluegrass tune I think 
So yeah, I'm gonna break it down for you and, and see how it goes, all right? I'm gonna try to play it very slowly. This is the first part. Okay, I'm gonna play it up in tempo. Now very, very slow for you. I'm gonna do it again, even slowly. This is the first, the first step one and two and one. second okay I'm gonna do it again for you thing I'm gonna do it slowly for you the B part. It goes like that. Let's go till there, all right? Slowly. this time now let's carry on with this part the same notes but in different place on the neck so let's carry on let's do it slowly for you Oh, 
time, very slow. the B part I'm gonna try to do it the whole thing Just remember, play it very slowly and then go faster and faster and faster and you really will enjoy it. Uh, you can download uh, this couple of backing tracks I made for you. One is in a slow tempo and the other one is snapping tempo that you really will get there and you really will use it and you're gonna have a lot of fun playing it. And thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy lesson and see you next time. All the best. Bye bye.